for hair lovers. This is another how-to video for beginners and we're doing something a little creative. It's finger painting. Do you remember when you were a kid, when you were a kid and you just, you can't? Well, that's what we're doing. So it's simple, it's easy, it's no time involved, it's quick thinking and this will be one of the most creative how-to videos that you've seen. So, what are you going to be needing to create an amazing colour? Well, all I can say is Colour ID from Weller. It is the latest innovative colouring system that we have ever used. Basically, we don't need to foil, there's no bleeding, and you can be as creative and as expressive as you like. You're going to need some gloves, you're going to need a tail comb, and a few sectioning clips if you have to. But really, this is just about using these. This is my model, Vanessa, and you can see she has incredible hair. This curly hair, it's, this is just amazing. And sometimes with hairdressers, we get a little like, ah, what do we do? So I'm gonna keep this easy, and this is when finger painting really works. We're gonna do a darker color in through here, then I'm going to get heaps of different colours and I'm just going to all the way through. Then afterwards I'm going to put a beautiful gloss over the whole top to give this Afro curl beautiful shine and beautiful texture to the hair. Look, I love working with the colour ID at the minute. Especially because I love these spatulas. They sit so nice and flat, nice and quick. And you just can rely that your colour's not going to bleed too much on there. I know that it's just going to stay right there for me, for me to be able to do my next technique. So apply your root colour if you need it. You may have someone that has a blank canvas. In this example, I've needed to do a root retouch here. Now it's just time to finger paint. I've got three different colours coppers and a little bit of a pinky red and all I'm going to do is just go for it. Vanessa's colour. Oh my gosh, we've gone a little bit deeper in the root area and then we've got this all this different type of tones. That's why finger painting, you can just, all the colours end up blending together. So why spend hours boiling? Why spend hours doing all this perfect technique? With hair like this, you can kind of go a bit nuts and as it dries up, it'll just go into all different colours and different hues and that's what I love. Just be creative and 